All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Court of the Rings here on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I am Lotro's Kid Manager Cordovan, and I'm going to be with you for the next hour. I'm uh, going to be doing some gameplay. I think I'm going to be doing some Hobnanigans, uh, because this is a Hobnanigans weekend, and I was uh, talking to some people yesterday, and they're like, hey, you're going to do Hobnanigans on the stream? Seemed like a fun thing to do, so I think we'll be checking that out a little bit later on. I will have the latest news. We can talk a little bit about whatever it is you want to talk about. That is why I am here. So thank you very much, everyone, for being here. Let me make sure that I am indeed actually going live on all of the things. Being here, let me... Nope. Oh, yes. So much so that you heard me. Okay. And I am now live. So Facebook just recently changed. I swapped over to the new, the new Facebook. And that makes it even a little bit trickier to see all your chat. But I'm doing my best, everyone. Hi, Matthew. Hi, David. Hello, Meredith, over on YouTube. And then a whole bunch of people over on Twitch. So thank you very much for being here. Okay, uh, a couple of quick things I could mention uh, about news. First off, we have announced when Harvest Math is going to be. So... The Harvest Math Festival will begin at 10 a.m. Eastern on October 27th, and it will go through November 22nd, being shut off at 3 a.m. Eastern on November 23rd. A little later than usual this year, we get that. Uh, that maybe isn't exactly what we would have liked either, uh, but the reality is we got War of Three Peaks coming, and so we got a lot of people doing a lot of work, and we had to fit a little bit of harvest math work into the schedule so that's that's why it is what it is when it is but there it is 10 27 10 a.m eastern through november 22nd for the harvest math festival uh it, for new content it's actually just the a little bit of kind of last minute itemization hookup is really what we're talking about here and you wouldn't think that would take that long and honestly it doesn't really take that long unless you're trying to get out War of Three Peaks in the middle of all that stuff. So that's that's sort of why it is. Uh, the timing is perhaps a little bit later than we usually go. Uh, we prefer to have Harvest Math a little bit earlier in October uh, when we can. But it's still going to be a really fun time. So, Cord, you know this is going to be a long hour, right? Wink. Maybe. Uh, why? Do you want to fight? You want to brawl? <laughs> Hello from Austria. Hello, Austria. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Any news about uh, fixing Evernight housing bug? Uh, so you'll have to help me out here. So, Miss Though, let me know specifically what housing bug you're running into. Uh, what today you're running into on Evernight. Uh, in terms of lag, that kind of thing, yes, we have been continuing to do work on that in the middle of all the other work that we've been doing. Uh, some of Evernight's issues, honestly, are related to it being uh, one of our higher pop worlds. But that's not an excuse. That just means that, that we have further work yet that we need to do. Can there be a special channel created for those who insist about talking politics and world chat? Yes, we should create a user channel called Welcome to Hell. Okay, which housing bug am I joking? Uh, no, I am not trying to say which housing bug is in. I am refuting that there is the existence of a housing bug in the game more that which one has you concerned that you would like us to address decoration not loading at all okay have i seen the pvmp videos from bulver i apologize i have not is that the one that's got the Kind of full screen, splash screen on it that I saw on the forums this morning. If so, I have not had an opportunity to look at it, but I will be looking at it today. Uh, 
porting into your housing area and the house zone, not recognizing owner. That one I have run into myself. That one I know we are aware of and we would love to fix in the future. Not loading in any items or decoration rights. I believe that's the same basic issue, which is that it's probably, so each, it has to do with like instance creation and a race condition, right? So probably what's happening is you're zoning in prior to the instance properly being created for you. So it's generally a race condition issue that people are going to have to figure out what's causing that squirrel. Um, and then alleviate that race condition by basically bringing whatever needs to load second more in line with where it needs to be more consistently. Well, fix Evernight then. Okay, I will do my best. Uh, would you like people to put in tickets when the housing bug hits? I think it depends on the nature of the issue. If you're running into, say, placement of a specific decoration or placement on a specific hook point or something like that, then absolutely a bug report would probably be very valuable to us. If it's the race condition issue I was talking about earlier where, you know, maybe one in 50 loads or something like that isn't loading properly, then that is something that we're aware of. I'm not sure that we need more specific information on that, but if we were, it never hurts to send in a bug report. So generally, generally when asked, should I submit a bug? The answer is almost certainly yes. And it probably doesn't hurt here either. Although I would say that we do actually know, cool. Um, that's a long standing one. That one's been going on for a long time. So, okay. When will the War of Three Peaks package details be published? The answer to that, Lexicon, is that they will be published on the day that War of Three Peaks release. Remember, we have uh, announced that we are not doing a pre sale. We are not doing a pre-purchase. We are going to launch War of Three Peaks and make all of the packages available at that time. And my guess will be that that is when you will first see the full lists of everything that is in uh, the various three packages. And that is happening pretty soon here. Uh, when will transfers be available? Uh, all I can say on that is we want them to be available as quickly as we can. Hopefully, um, we can get that re-enabled in the near future, but I have nothing to announce today. Oh. As long as I'm here. Let me talk to him. Folklore of the Isuda held that it was from, not the Dwarf King Durin. Okay. To be held the now. Mountain. Oops, <laughs> I timed out. Let me uh, let me log out real and log in real quick, uh, so I can get my map to Hobnanigans. Um, I'm trying to think right now where we sit, if there's anything new on transfers. I think, unfortunately, the reality is that the engineers who have been having to do, who still have a little work, well, some of the, more than just the engineers, I don't want to put the blame on them or anything. Uh, there are some people that still have to do some work on enabling world character transfers, and those people have either been continuing to do that work, or they have not been able in the past, you know, five business days due to other pressing important priorities uh, in order to get to that work. So hopefully we'll be able to get that done in the near future. All right.
Uh, yeah. So, uh, Tim99 is asking a little bit about classwork in update 28. And I did, I was putting together update 28 release notes this week. And I did come across a few class changes that I hadn't seen on the Bullroarer notes to this point. So, let me see if I can... While we're kind of messing around today, I'll probably try to call that up a little bit and see if I can um, tell you a little bit about some additional work on classwork. Now, it's nothing very substantive, a few odds and ends, but still they are a few odds and ends that are, are not bad and maybe impactful to you. So let me go and, and do that in the near future while I'm kind of getting things Perhaps done a little bit more visually here, shall we say. All right, so I want to be... Yeah, okay, there we go. Got one pole left on the blue. Oh, It'll be perfect. And we should be good to go. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Listheel, for uh, being here. Now, uh, there is a process. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do today is there is a process where if you find yourself stuck, unable to do a Hubnanigans full team, you can still make it work. So what you need to do, if you find yourself in that position, and I'm not going to do it this time because there was just that one post left on blue, so it worked out perfect. But you can call it out, go into the Hobnanigans, uh, where is that now? The Hobnanigans panel under H for Hobnanigans. Uh, for and then cancel so you cancel the quest and then you have to wait five minutes uh, for the NPC to, to let you pick up another poll again I don't know why we do that but we do that because we have to I guess anyway so then after five minutes you pick up the other post and then after five minutes you can pick up the other post so the worst case scenario is you can frankly solo a Hobnanigans game if you want to if you're just here for the tokens uh, you can do that just by kind of canceling the quest and picking up enough pulls to be able to trigger the start of the event. It can also be a good way to deal with, say, one-offs if, if we have one pull here. So, like, one of these two folks could potentially do that by, you know, canceling and then talking to this NPC, the Feathers Captain, the Feathers being the red posts and the other NPC being the blue, uh, I don't remember what that called, yeah, steel beaks, the steel beaks being blue, beaks for blue, and uh, flying for red, and uh, that's all there is to it really. So you can, you can run it, if you win you get 15, if you lose you get 5, the Hobnadians tokens. If you want to spend your mithril, you can get a doubler from this token boost quartermaster, but you don't have to do that. And the rewards I could show you a little bit later here today. Alright, now I have given a lot of attention to Twitch chat here, so let me let me go to some of the other chats and see what we can do. When will account transfers come back? We are actively working to bring world character transfers back, not just in general to the game but specifically also to sorry let me get going here uh specifically also to um the closed game worlds our our hope is that when this we are able to re-enable world character transfers that we are able to do that substantively uh, throughout and so hopefully we'll be in a good position to do that and stay tuned for more information um, really as we get closer to it so so there we go so just to be clear i am going to lose this match because there it's lopsided right it's one against three but that's fine it doesn't matter I'm just here to, to hang out, uh, play some Hobnanigans. We'll probably have more competitive matches, maybe as people check out the fields after seeing it on the stream, that kind of thing. So anyway, there we go. All right.
the question about how we would implement uh, guardian work is not really one that I have an answer for today. It's really going to depend on probably uh, Vastin, I would assume, is going to do our guardian work on what he decides to do. Can we get new hairstyles for male characters? Uh, not in the near future. Any news about creep housing? No. <laughs> I have not heard anything. I mean, that sounds kind of fun, but uh, I suspect, I suspect the PVMP community might prefer we do something other than provide housing as what we do next for PVMP. Just, just taking a wild guess there. I understand, um, I'm seeing a lot of PvP chat, there's a, a, apparently some work that was done on Bulver that has been seen, that has led to an alarming YouTube video being created to, to, to try to, uh, warn everyone about the state of PvMP in Update 28, and I have not seen that video as I mentioned earlier today, but I will be taking a look at it this afternoon. And, uh, given the volume of comments that I have seen so far this morning and on the live stream today, I am sure that the rest of the team has seen your comments as well. Um, I will make sure that they have, but I think they already have. Okay. Uh, cannot talk about what we're going to do after Gundabad. It's way too early for that. Uh, oh, Freepside just got insane gear upgrades. That Creepside has no way to match. Okay, that's, that's actually uh, a fairly common scenario, right? Where because we do... Because Freep work is tied to any other work and Creepside is tied specifically to creep side work the balance often initially comes on the freep side and then has to be balanced against on the creep side that's that's fairly common um so it sounds like that is just something we're gonna have to do in the coming uh, weeks and hopefully we will get that work done for you I don't think anyone's going to disagree that there would be more than enough room to do extensive reworking of PVMP and Lotro just as a as a thing, right? I don't think anyone's going to ar argue against that. But I, you know, as with many things, everything ends up having to compete with priorities and time and everything else, so... Hopefully, I understand we have a lot of upset PVMP players today, um, and we, I will make sure that we listen to what you're saying about Update 28. I cannot make any promises, of course, about anything being done, but I can say for sure that I'll take a look at it today, and, I'll, and I'm, I know the team's already seen it, but if they haven't seen it, I will make sure the right folks have seen it. Alright, yep, 
I don't know. I, I'm mostly just seeing uh, people linking that PVMP video and such, so. Um, I don't know, but. There's a whole lot else I can really say today on it. Other than. I will make sure to look at it today. I might do it as soon as we're off the air here. <laughs> Given the vociferous reaction it got on the uh, stream today. so. But I had seen it on the forums. I just hadn't had time to look at it yet. Oh, so, um, you know, I guess as long as we're talking controversial stuff today, but I, I can talk about that. Angela. Can the female uh, stout axes look more female? No. Um, we actually kind of have what we have. I do, however, there has been dis talk about um, making sure we have both male and female presenting uh, voice work for Stout X. That's something we would like to do. Right now you're in a situation where, if I recall, uh, one of the audio files, should you choose to be a Stout X female, is... Um, female and then the attack sounds on that are the same as the male attack sounds the male presenting attack sounds so we noticed that which just within the past couple of weeks and there was a little bit of kind of zoom teams talk on it uh, that we should correct that so hopefully we will get that in the future um, but I think a more extensive perhaps Restyling of the Stout Axe is not in the cards. Hey, I've played a game in Hobnanigans. All right, so uh, let me see. What else do we got? One of the high elf shouts is bugged as well. I can watch the PVMP video on stream. I'm sure people would appreciate it. Oh yeah, that would be a that would be a fantastic, fantastic thing to do. All right, uh, sir, so, got a little bit of trolling going on. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, uh, let me. I don't know if if anyone's gonna let me play another game of this or not. I may need to just do something else. All 
All right, uh, let me figure out what I want to do here. How do I want to do this? I'll just get in place just in case. And otherwise I'll get back to chat. And no, I'm not watching the, that video <laughs> out of the blue on stream. No. I, I, I've seen an occasional swear word on a PVMP video, shall we say. Just, just once in a long, great while. I, I think that might not be a good idea to... To play that on the uh, the official, <laughs> as it were, here right now. Well, let me do. What do I want to do? Uh, I think uh, Malcolm people are probably capable of finding and watching the video on their own. I know there there are numerous links out there for people to take a look at it. It's not necessary for me to do that work. Especially in a video I've not seen. Uh, what is the reasoning about the price points of Three Peaks being announced? You you say months in advance, although I happen to know that that isn't actually true. Uh, we're talking uh, a couple of weeks, what, a week ago, two weeks ago, right? Uh, but the content's not announced uh, till the day of release. So our timeline has shifted internally a little bit on that so it didn't quite fall exactly on the beats that we were maybe hoping it was going to fall but th that's really all there is to it um we wanted to make sure that because we had not because you were not aware that this was going to be an expansion we wanted to make sure that we were um front and center with that information and as we were just sort of discussing well what should we say about it uh, it got included. We we're prepared to, to let you know that. Um, in part because we wanted to make sure that people understood that we were going for a different series of price points than we were for our other expansions like Mordor and um, Minas Morgul. So that is the reasoning as to why the price points got out, is we needed to um, make sure that you understood what we were going for on the price and that we told you it was an expansion and in terms of the timing as to why we haven't gotten into all the details it's because those web pages and structure and flow itemization all that stuff's being hooked up right now worked on and in some cases finalized and we're just not in a position to make those kind of legally binding promises until the prior work is done so that is ultimately where we find ourselves on this october the on this october the tooth
Sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to scroll through chat here. I've never watched a PVMP video. That's not true. I've watched quite a few. I watch them all the time, people. If for no other reason than I tend to watch most videos that are posted on the forums. Was that a cuckoo clock noise you heard? Yes, it is. Can we start seeing the game soundtracks uploaded onto Spotify? We would love to do that. Uh, there's some, I guess, sort of legal channels that need to be carved out in order to utilize our music tracks in that way. There's nothing really stopping it from happening other than the fact that that groundwork maybe wasn't totally set in stone you know, laid it down when it was being created, right? So that really is the big hang-up on, on, like, Spotify, is that these tracks were created for the game, used in the game, um, things like that, and then it's a whole different kettle of fish to, like, get that same music file up on a place like Spotify. You can't just upload it and say, oh, it's all good, even if probably it's all good. Um, but we'll see what we end up doing there, because we would we would love to do that. I know that Bill Champagne in particular would love to get uh, our tracks on Spotify, and perhaps or something like that, like a Bandcamp or one of the others out there, right? Um, so perhaps that is something that we could do in the future. I could not talk about the brawler class, Julio. Uh, so what happened for those who aren't aware is we let some text slip out onto last week's bull roar. And that text included references to the brawler class, which, oops. Uh, so that slipped out. Uh, you can't be working on a class and do all the changes that you need to do to get a class into the game. You try not to let that stuff slip with good version control and what have you, but occasionally things slip in, as happened on Volroar. So, so yeah, yeah, we got a new class coming. Uh, you've seen at least some letters that indicate a class... That could, that could be what it's called. Who knows? It's awful early. Uh, it is not coming in War of Three Peaks. Uh, and we're not in a position to say when it is coming. Although, you know. We have announced our Gundabad expansion. <laughs> so, you know. Maybe. But we'll see where that ed what ends up happening. Because clearly, obviously, it's in a, it's in a very early state. And, and so I wouldn't want to promise anything today about when our next class might come out other than to say, hey, you know that thing you saw? It's an indication that we're working on something. And that is that is accurate. Your eyes were not deceiving you. My toon stampion looks just like me. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I'm not quite so barrel chested. My my girth is a little lower in the gut side, shall we say, but you know, hey, I'll take it. Okay.
All right. Uh, so I just want to mention there's been a lot of chat in Twitch chat, and you folks who are slinging insults at our moderators need to shut the heck up right now. I know this is not interesting whatsoever on your end, but I, I need to scroll through all this Twitch chat. There's a ton of it here, so. Uh, Leiriana, I could mention that a little bit. Uh, you're saying there's a Reddit expose that, quote, revealed the truth about the player council at Turbine. It was a token effort. Did any dev or notes release reply to the player council notes? I have seen that. Uh, I can tell you that I was there at the time. I was not in charge of the player's council. I wasn't really working on Locher. I was on the DDO side, but I was sitting next to the person who was. And I can assure you that it was not a token effort. I can assure you that because I saw the person doing the work, writing it down, bringing it up in meetings, and ushering changes through to completion as a result of that feedback. So, any kind of Reddit expose that might be out there may certainly provide a critical perspective of some of the issues that, you know, crop up in any environment. I don't know. But I assure you, it had the players council was never a token effort and palantir today is absolutely not a token effort and any claim to that end may be from someone who is unhappy with their experience and they may well have had a valid reason to be unhappy i don't know but i can tell you that it was not a token effort Okay. Okay. Palantir is clearly a token effort. <laughs> That's one big token, though. If it's a token effort, that token is, like, this big. And people have to carry it around an awful lot. You see that token all over the place, like in meetings. In change lists. In dev pit discussions all over the internet that token gets around yeah <laughs> twitch the pvp of streaming today it's, it's feeling a little pvp ish but hey it's all good P you know i don't want to be uh, some of the some of the harassment of moderators on Twitch is frustrating and disappointing to see. And some of the in-game reaction that we saw towards the end there on Hobnanigans is a little unfortunate. But at the same time, hey, 
you're going to be a uh, community manager for a video game, and you're going to stream live in game like that. That's going to happen sometimes. It's nothing that big a deal. It was fine. Are any of the original devs on the SSG team? Uh, for Lotro, I know for we at least have a couple. Uh, is there anything I could say about Brawler? No, not really, uh, Cero, but let me then proceed to say one thing about Brawler, which is just a, a brief counter to some of the early speculation, which is that if, if I, I've seen a few comments like on the Bullroar forums and elsewhere that perhaps this is a little bit akin to the Monk class that we have over in our other game, Dungeons and Dragons Online. And the monk class is a far more direct martial artist style class. I can tell you for certain that Brawler is not going to be that. So for any of the speculation out there that I've, I've seen on the forums that our upcoming class might sort of be aligned thematically with a more martial arts kind of, uh, you know, fisted style, that is not correct. Uh, it'll be a much different sort of class than that in terms of how it's going to look, what it's going to play, what it's going to do, what it's going to be called, all that other stuff. I can't say a word one, but I, I did want to maybe put that to rest a little bit because I've seen some speculation about, you know, what, what that might mean for the way the class is implemented in the game, and it will not be that. I would also say, Laurel, that I think it'll be quite a bit different than the Bayornan. Um, I could see where you would, you know, say, isn't it maybe just kind of like a Bayorning that doesn't shapeshift? No, it's going to be a much different thing than that. Uh, question about Rohan housing. I've been waiting for you new neighborhoods to release on Gladden in the Eastfold homesteads for weeks, but no new ones are added. So that happens largely. That happens largely through um, an automatic kind of unlocking script that runs once it detects that things are eligible to reopen. That doesn't mean that it automatically repopulates every time it runs out, because you do want to try to fill in the neighborhoods a little bit too. But there's sort of a, a mix of elements that trigger new instances to open. I am going to put that into my chat, however, my personal notepad. I, I'm going to follow up on that after the show here today to have someone check out Gladden and see if perhaps we need to add uh, an additional series of neighborhoods for the Eastfold side. So thank you for bringing that to my attention. Okay, uh, let me do one more thing. Uh, I wanted to 
I had mentioned earlier in the show that I saw a few class changes come across my desk in the past week that I did not see yet on Bullroar. So let me see if I can call that. Oops, let me see if I can call that up real quick. And if so, get that information to you. I'm not going to be able to put it live on the screen because I've got uh, because it's coming from an internal web page, internal wiki sort of like thing. I'm writing it. I'm writing it right now. No, I'm not right now. I was writing it right now, 12 hours ago. Okay. Um, so here are the release notes for Update 28, War of Three Peaks, released on. Burglar. The Burglar Skill Throw Knife no longer advances the deed Trickster because it is not a trick. The Burglar Skills, Mischievous Glee, Mischievous Delight, Startling Twist, and Clever Retort no longer advance the deed Perplexing Riddle. Guardian. Thrill of Battle's cooldown has been reduced from 20 seconds to 8 seconds. Stoic Bubble now provides a damage reduction during its effect rather than a heal on expiration understand that is not a very popular change. Break Ranks now applies a group-wide buff rather than an individual buff. The skill is now triggered by Shield Taunt rather than Shield Smash. This buff can only be triggered once every 60 seconds. Fortification can now begin rebuilding immediately after being cashed out. And the Guardian trait Bellow reduces challenges cooldown by 5 seconds per rank. The trait tooltip has been updated to reflect this. Champions. Horn of Champions trait now has two tiers. The first grants the skill, the second makes it taunt. Deafening Horn trait now has one tier, which grants the full effect bonus to the skill of plus 40% damage to plus 4 targets. Hunter. Hunter trait Strong Draw affects only bow skills, and its tooltip has been updated to reflect that. Lore Master. The tooltip for the Lore Master trait set bonus Fellowship Friend has been updated to detail which buffs are offered by which pets. Additionally, the Eagle now gives the same buff as the Raven. Minstrel. The tooltip for the skill Major Ballad Resonance has been corrected. The Minstrel skills Call of the Second Age and Bolster Courage no longer advance the deed at dynamic performance. Runekeeper. The Runekeeper deed, the prophetic word, can now be advanced by the skill Scribe a New Ending. The Runekeeper skill Scribe a New Ending may be used while moving. Oh, God. Thank you. Warden. Light type damage dots from the Warden trait set bonus Martial Fury have been reworked to scale properly with the player's primary weapon. The Warden trait set bonus, Makeshift Caltrops, will no longer affect enemies who are normally immune to slowing effects. And this one is new, I'm pretty sure. The Warden skills Marked Target, Diminished Target, and Fire at Will are now categorized as Javelin skills instead of Javelin Gambits. This will not change the functionality of the trait Seize the Moment. Additionally, this is not in the class notes, but is class notes adjacent, which is in the items. The following Bjorning armor sets have been converted from medium armor to heavy armor. Their appearances are unaffected. They are Armor of the Stag, Armor of the Beast of Glanvreg, Armor of the Bulwark of Glan. Glanvreg? I don't know how to say it. Armor of the Thunderous Four, Armor of the Osgiliath Claw, Armor of the Osgiliath Hide, and Armor of the Osgiliath Roar. Uh, the Runekeeper Legacy Replacement Scroll Chill of Winter Damage actually affects Frost Damage and has been updated to reflect this. Um... And Filbert Fig is coming back. All right, so I think that is what I saw that I wanted to call out on the show today. So what else do we got? Um, I 
Oh, put the beacon in the center of the page. Set up on the side, it hurts your OCD side. Yep. All right. Uh, Binkyo says on Twitch, with no pre-purchase and, and Digital River taking hours to return codes, will there be a delay on the availability of War of Three Peaks? The answer to that is no. As a matter of fact, you know, we are going to be launching War of Three Peaks, and we'll, that includes like the creation of, you know, the purchase flow for all the stuff there. So that is something that is actively being worked on. And I can tell you that uh, it will not be delayed, nor should we have an issue with delays in returning codes this time around. And we'll have more information on that as we get closer to it. So I am taking a look at everyone's chat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Says Snag over in Twitch chat is saying a former Lowshark community manager got you into a car accident. No other CM action will ever compare to that. I would say so. I, there's there's a story there. I hope I hope everyone was okay. I assume everyone was okay. Yeah. That is funny I guess unless it's not but to me it's it read funny oh in the parking lot okay okay <laughs> all right um well we are largely done today. It looks like it's mostly just been a Q&A day, other than that little bit of Hobnanigan stuff that we did. Um, so hopefully you have a good weekend here. Uh, I'm going to be getting the Lotro Beacon out this afternoon. We do have Hobnanigans going on. Now let me see if I can real quick ask the question or answer the question about whether we have another bull roarer planned. Um, I'm pretty... Mm -hmm. Let me call something up. Of course, now the calendar won't display for me. Here we go. Yes. I see another bull roar attempt on the calendar for next week. So... It uh, looks like the, we're at least planning to do another bull roar for next week here for update 28. All right. Thank you very much. So uh, we are not going to be having the Tolkien professor on after this. He has uh, personal business to attend to. So in just a couple of minutes over on Twitch, Druid's Fire is going to be taken over and running through the afternoon. So you can check that out there. You can find our full schedule over on twitch.tv slash stream. Thank you very much also for watching on Facebook and YouTube. If you would give us a like, subscribe, follow, whatever. We really do appreciate it when you're able to do that. 
I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks, everyone, for being here, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.